Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the continental drift theory of Wagner. Alfred Wagner was a German meteorologist. He put forward his continental drift theory in the year 1912 and later on revised it in 1924. the theory proposes in the upper carboniferous period that is about 280 million years ago there was a single vast continent which he named as pangaea the pangaea was surrounded by a vast ocean known as panthalassa the northern part of pangaea comprised of north america europe and asia and was named as angara land or laurasia similarly the southern part of pangaea comprised of africa peninsular india australia and antarctica was known as gondwana land laurasia and gondwana land were separated by a narrow shallow and elongated sea known as tithys sea in the carboniferous period about 250 million years ago some part of the pangaea drifted equatorwards and some part drifted westwards the angara and the gondwana land came nearer to each other resulting in the shrinking of the tethy sea the tethy sea crust began to fracture in thirst edges resulting in the formation of the himalayas and the alps mountains in the mid jurassic age about 180 million years ago the atlantic ocean became thousands of kilometers wide due to westward drift of the north and south america this westward drift of americas resulted in the wrinkling of their western edges and rockies and andes mountains were formed in the pleistocene age that is 50 to 60 million years ago the continents assumed a shape somewhat similar to the present day shape now let's watch this video showing the drifting of continents from 240 million years ago till they assumed the present day shape but it is heartbreaking that geologists soundly denounced wagner's theory of continental drift after he published the details in the year 1915 in his book called the origin of the continents and oceans the scientists opposed wagner's theory because he didn't have a good reason to explain how the continents moved apart No one was accepting his idea of shifting of the continents. They started calling Wagner a nerd and asked him for the evidences. This forced Wagner to do research and get the evidences to prove his theory. Now let's see the evidences collected by Wagner to prove his theory. The evidences are jigs of it fossils geological matching corals paleoclimatic unity and last but not the least is plate tectonic theory 
Well, let's begin with the first evidence, jigs of it. Wagner observed surprising similarities on the eastern and western coast of Atlantic Ocean. He explained that the Brazilian bulge would fit in the Gulf of Guiana in Africa. Also, the North American coastline would closely fit in the coast of Western Europe. The Antarctica, Australia, Peninsular India and Madagascar can be neatly nested together. Now next evidence is the fossils. Wagner gave some examples of the fossils of the animals like Mesosaurus and Lystrosaurus. For example, Mesosaurus can survive in shallow water. Now, what's interesting is that only at a few places in the world we find fossils of this freshwater creature. One place is the eastern coast of South America and the other is the western coast of Africa. Wagner said that the animals like Mesosaurus can survive only in fresh water. We know that the Mesosaurus could not swim across because the distance is too great and also they cannot survive in saline water of Atlantic Ocean. Wagner said that such a distribution can only be explained by accepting that the two landmasses, South America and Africa, were joined together. Now next is geological matching. There are gold deposits in Ghana coast of Africa, but there are no source rocks in that region. However, across the Atlantic Ocean, there are gold-bearing veins in Brazil, but there are no gold deposits there. Occurrence of such stunning similarities in distant lands gives support to continental drift theory. Another example he gave was that across the North Atlantic area, we have the mountain ranges in the northern eastern United States and the mountain ranges in North Europe. Both match up perfectly. That means they are made up of same type and same age of rocks. This explains that these continents were once connected. As the continents moved, they broke into two parts. Now it became the evidence number three. We call it the rock and mountain correlation. And what we see is that identical rocks and mountain structures have been found on the either side of the ocean. Our next evidence is paleoclimatic unity. Wagner needed some more evidences. He began to look at the past climatic data. That means he looked at the evidences of cold and warm weather in different parts of the world. And he found something fascinating. He first looked into glaciers. And of course, the glaciers are ought to be found in the cold areas of the earth. Today, they are restricted only to the highest mountain tops and the north and south pole of the earth. Something interesting about the glaciers is that they move. And when they move over the rocks beneath, they leave the evidences in the form of scratches that we call glacier stereation. As you see here, how does it is related to the climate? If you look into the present day tropical rainforests of South America and Africa, you will find glacial stereations. Here, in these two regions, we will find the scratches in the bedrocks. Now, if you think about that how could there be the glaciers in the tropical rainforest unless it wasn't always a tropical rainforest. This suggests that these continents were not always in the warm equatorial region like they are now. They were once down near the South Pole where it could have been cold enough to have glaciers. 
and have now drifted apart. But Wagner wanted more from this climatic data. So he began to explore a little deeper. Then he came across the sedimentary rocks. These are bituminous rocks. We extract energy from these rocks. They are fossil fuels. Bituminous coal is formed by compacted plant remains. So the tropical plant die on the forest floor and get compressed for millions of years to form coal. Now let's look at where the coal is found on the earth. Coal is found in North America, Europe, Russia, South America, Australia and Antarctica. These are not tropical climates, yet they have coal, which is the evidence of the past tropical climate. So, this suggests that the continents have moved over time and that became the evidence on paleoclimatic unity or the past climatic unity. This was observed that the coal has been found in cold areas and the glacial evidences have been found in the warm regions. Our next evidence is corals. Coral is a minute reef building marine polyp which thrives well in warm water with temperature 20 degrees Celsius. So it lives between 30 degrees north to 30 degrees south latitudes. The occurrence of coral reef off the coast of Australia, which is much away from this belt, supports the view that these continents were nearer to the equator in the past. Well, Wagner was still not satisfied by his collection of evidences. So he went to Greenland with his team for his next expedition to collect some more evidences. Sadly, in November 1930, he was stuck in a snow blizzard, which became the reason of his death. It is estimated that his body and his diary now lie under more than 100 meters of accumulated ice and snow. Last but not the least is plate tectonic theory. In 1960, after 30 years of Wagner's death, the modern scientists have proved the plate tectonic theory, according to which our Earth's crust is made up of seven major and many minor plates, which are floating over a semi-liquid surface called the asthanosphere or upper mantle. In the light of this plate tectonic theory, Wagner's theory got validity and hence his continental drift theory was approved by the scientists. Now at the end, let's watch and enjoy this song on Wagner's story of continental drift. Scientists who sang Ha ha, Alfred Wagner You are a crazy man Ha ha, Alfred Wagner You are a crazy little man They reminded him he had no proof For how or why the continents could do this And until you show just how or why you Until the 
this evidence we see You don't have a theory I'm sure you all enjoyed the song and understood the continental theory of Professor Wagner. Stay healthy and stay safe.